We're also following breaking news out of Baldwin County. A young mother is dead, her husband in critical condition, after what law enforcement is calling a murder attempted suicide. News 5's Debbie Williams is live in Bay Manette with more on this tragic situation. Pete, is started last night with a 911 call just before 11 o'clock. And when those first responders answered that call for help, they found two people shot, one of them already dead. Crime scene tape surrounds the little brick home on Eastwood Drive hours after a 911 call alerting first responders of a shooting. Both a male and female were found in a bed. Um, the female was deceased in the bed. The male at that time um, had an obvious gunshot wound to the head. Uh, but was alive. 29-year-old Crystal Rose Hancock was dead. Her husband, 39-year-old Ben Allen, critically wounded. It's tough. It's tough on me right now. Mount Vernon Police Chief Byron Reynolds had hired Hancock as a dispatcher just a few weeks ago. Been with us for a month and a half now. Uh, good worker, always on time. Um, uh, always came in with a smile on the face. Tuesday night, there may have been a sign of trouble at home. Her husband, he came by to bring her uh, some food and uh, uh, heard they got into a little verbal dispute. She notified my guys. My guys told him he had to leave and he left without incident. 24 hours later, she was dead and her husband critically wounded with a gunshot blast to the head. It does not appear that there was any third party involved. And then nobody else was in the residence when this happened. And as I said, it appears that Mr. Allen appears to be uh, both a suspect as well as the victim of an attempted suicide. And Allen has a history of domestic violence arrest. Tonight, he is in critical condition, University Hospital in Mobile. Reporting live in Bay Manette, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.